welcome to my youtube channel beginner coder so in the couple of last videos we have seen about a lambda function its configurations its versions and its environment variables how to use so like in a gitlab here also we have a versions maintenance so we can create a new new version each time when we change a code so but how to maintain stages of our code like like uh, our project may be deployed as a dev, dev environment qa environment uat environment or prod environment so we will we'll have a different stages so each stage let's say qa uat is a stage so each stage should point to particular version of this lambda function code so we first we have versions creations then we need to have a list of stages and each stage should point to particular version of the code because dev might have a slight difference code qa might have different code uat might have different code and prod might have different code so suppose if this function has four versions one two three four qa might point to some fourth version uat might point to second version and qa might point to first version so like that how to maintain so in this case we will use aliases let's go to aliases of lambda function presently we don't have any alias let's create an alias name the alias first i will keep as dev stage description can be optional and version this dev environment is pointing to which version of our lambda code so presently we have only one version which is created and one latest code so we will first we will create two three versions so this is version 2 let's publish it as a version publish new version let's write a description version 2 let's go to code again let's change the code and publish as a version 3 publish a new version we can write description or not required so again let's go to versions list so we have one two three three versions and now let's create aliases let's create alias dev stage and let's point a dev stage to third version of our lambda code so if you want to use anywhere of the dev stage of this lambda you need to go to this alias dev and copy its arn and use anywhere and let's go to aliases again let's create one more alias let's say qa point this to second version and save like that we can create uat stage go to aliases create new uat and point to version one and let's save it suppose once we developed and once we tested our dev code so if you see aliases presently dev is pointing to version 3 still after testing we need to deploy this to qa so once dev version 3 is tested and it is proper now we need if you need to deploy this on qa we just need to go to this alias and we will change qa pointing to version 2 presently presently it is pointing to version 2 we will just edit it and let's point to version 3 just edit version 3 that's it we have deployed our latest version in a qa stage so now qa is pointing to the latest code so if you need to deploy 
the second version on UAT once it's tested we'll just again edit it and point to version 2 so we just need to if you want to use a dev we just need to go to dev and copy this ARN and use anywhere like that again if you want to deploy the latest version in all stages change this also to version 3 so now every stage is pointing to the latest version now no new development is there which needs to be deployed on QA or environment again if any new requirement comes we will just change the latest code and create a version version 4 and we will point dev environment to version 4 until it is tested once it is tested we will point QA also to version 4 and later we will point UAT and prod also to version 4 so like this we can maintain the stages or environments in a lambda function and also we can maintain the versions of our code i hope you got this video and understood what is aliases in the lambda function please like share and subscribe my youtube channel and share to your friends thank you for watching